Question number 7 is a very beautiful question set from electrostatic and pertaining to electric flux. An infinitely long line charge of density lambda is parallel to y axis at a distance z equals to root 3a by 2. Below in the xy plane lies a rectangular frame of center at origin and sides are a cross l with a parallel to x axis and L parallel to Y axis. And the question goes as follows. If the magnitude of flux through A, B, C, D, the flux through this line charge in X, Y plane with its center at origin is lambda L by N epsilon naught. In other words, the flux of the field due to this through this particular rectangular frame is lambda L by N epsilon naught. We need to calculate the value of N. You could visualize from the figure that some part of the total field will be cutting the rectangular plane. So, of course, the flux is non-zero. And now, we should be interested to calculate the numerical value. Let me try to simplify the figure by drawing planes in this way. This has x, then this would be y, and this is z. What I did is that I took y axis out of the plane. And now in this particular plane, you would be having the line charge at z equals to root 3a by 2. So root 3a by 2 somewhere here. And here is that infinitely long line charge, half part outside, half part inside, and at z equals to root 3a by 2. And where is that rectangular frame? The rectangular frame is in the xy plane. So I need a bit of your imagination. And you see that the x axis length is a. So symmetrically, if I make distance a, and the y axis length is l. So half l by 2 outside, l by 2 inside. So altogether, a rectangular frame of this and the rest half would be into the plane. So it's something like this. If you want further imagination, here is that rectangular plane. If you see the geometry of the figure, this is root 3a by 2. This is a, so this has to be a by 2. So this particular plane angle would be 30 degree because this is a by 2, this is root 3a by 2, quite obvious. Now what I'll do is that, if we take a cylinder of radius a, and at the center of that cylinder, I'll be keeping that line charge, this cylinder will be having a radius a and length as l. The radius is a, so half part l by 2 would be outside, half part inside. And at that origin, I'll be keeping the line charge. And if I draw a chord for the circle, but for the cylinder, that would be a plane, a complete plane. This particular length of the plane would be L. And this is E. And this total angle, if we take 60 degree, so quite obviously, this would be of length a and that a would exactly resemble this. So got to realize this. This has been shifted into this particular plane. Uh, infinitely long line charge is kept along the axis. The cylinder has radius a and length l and the plane which has been axed through which the flux is to be calculated lies here. The length is a in this side and here would be l by 2 and within would be L by 2. Now you could see such six planes could be constructed within the cylinder. So how much would be the flux through the cylinder? The flux through the cylinder would be the total charge enclosed would be lambda L by epsilon naught using Gauss law. And the flux through the plane that would be one sixth of lambda L by epsilon naught. So therefore, 
the required value of n would be 6. Hence, 6 is the correct integer for question number 7. Now, let's move for the last integer of this particular section, question number 8. Question number 8, again from modern physics, but this time atom. Consider a hydrogen atom with its electron in nth orbit. So, quite obviously, excited hydrogen atom. An electromagnetic radiation of this much wavelength is used to ionize the atom. If the Ke of ejected electron is 10.4 electron volt, we need to calculate the value of n and the product of Hc numerical value has been given. Now the point is, we got to see one thing that the question says the ionized electron has kinetic energy. So quite obviously, whatever is the original value of n, this is n equals to infinity and this is the energy gap. Now, the energy given by the electromagnetic radiation is greater than the energy gap so that the excess energy comes in the form of Ke. So, let us try to find the energy of the electromagnetic radiation that would be Hc by lambda. Hc for convenience has been given as 1 to 4 to electron volt nanometer and downstairs is 90 nanometer. So, this comes out to be a simple calculation of 13.8 electron volt and now the Ke of ejected electron is 10.4 electron volt. So, what has happened? The energy of the electromagnetic radiation minus of energy gap would go in the form of kinetic energy and that is 13.8 minus of energy gap and the kinetic energy comes out to be 10.4 all in electron volt. So, from here we get the energy gap comes out to be 3.4 electron volt, which is a clear indication that initial energy level is 3.4 electron volt in negative. So, that means initially the hydrogen atom was at n equals to 2 because energy is minus 13.6 by n square electron volt is the famous expression we know. So, when we put n equals to 2, the initial energy of minus 3.4 electron volt would be achieved. So, the correct option for question number 8, the integer value would be 2. And together with this question, we also finished the first section of paper 1. Now, we will switch over to question number 9.